Hey guys, so lately I have been a little bit away from streaming Genshin, not because I don't love the game, which I do, but because I've been playing Paw World, which is a lot of fun. And also before um, the events come out in 4.4, once I've done the wishes I can do, um, there's not much for me there. I kind of want to explore the continent, the, the new region, slowly on stream, but during the event. So I'm kinda, I was kind of waiting for the event to happen to actually deep dive into it. Um, so again, focus on Paul world, but I just cannot ignore what's going on on Twitter at the moment. So I kind of want to address it briefly and say what I think. So, um, let's talk, let's start with Tectone. I do not have anything personally against him. And I imagine he's probably a pretty good guy because he's friends with Asmongold, which someone, which is someone I deeply admire. admire. Uh, he's my basically my favorite content creator of all time, so um, I don't know, I think he can be a bad guy. However, I really don't like the way that he uses drama for content. He has said time and time again that he goes after drama to use it for content. And I don't think that's very good for the Genshin community or ethical, especially since he nowadays only plays HSR. So he goes back to Genshin to farm drama, and um, that's bad for the community as a whole. I don't like that at all. Um, sure, uh, I'm not going to judge why he does it or uh, mo what motivated him to do it. All I'm saying is that I wish he wouldn't do that. I wish he would leave Genshin alone since he's focused on HSR. Um, the Genshin community is made up of very young people mostly, and... Uh, it just feels like he should leave us alone and not go after specific twi Twitter posts against him or anything like that to record videos and gaslight the whole community. I think that paints us in a bad light. I think that's uh, unhelpful. And sure, he has a right to defend himself, but sometimes he even goes out of, the, out of his way to talk shit when he has no business doing so because he wasn't directly offended by any of it so again just to sum it up i don't think he's a bad guy but i wish he would have a better attitude towards genshin or just leave it alone we have enough things going on as it is and we have enough um things to you know be angry about as it is so him adding to it is not helping anyone. That being said, um, his drama with other content creators in the space is something else entirely, in my opinion. And I've been basically saying, um, if you're at CC for Genshin, please stop feeding the troll. Stop giving him um, munition to go off on us all the time. So, recently, a few content creators have been re answering him, and that basically gives him more power, more videos, and more reasons to keep doing it, and that's a big mistake. When it comes to <clears throat> Atsu and Braxophone, and the stuff they're being throwing back and forth, um... I, I gotta say, I've kind of been in Braxophone's shoes, trying to befriend people, and they um, showing me that they didn't want, didn't want that, but I was pretty aware of what was going on, so I just basically pulled out, and as a smaller content creator, I can tell you that um, trying to get collabs and trying to get people to interact with you even on social media can be very challenging especially because everybody is distrustful of everybody else so i basically nowadays just do my own thing but it, it, it is pretty sad to see how things unfold behind the curtains and um my advice as a smaller cc to anyone trying to enter the space <clears throat> is do your own thing don't try to rely on others. Um, never meet your heroes.
because you might be disappointed and keep going for your own things focus on your content and try not to get too involved with other people because yeah that kind of stuff happens and people are very distrustful of one another and get in involved into drama easily I, I know it's it's weird but there's a lot of jealousy where there's um, power, money, and popularity involved. And it's sad. again, it's really sad to see that people just let themselves be dragged into things like that. And then DMs are leaked and Twitter, tweet longer posts are made and people just offend each other. And again, it makes us weaker as a Genshin community as a whole. It, it's, it speaks bad about us. And I wish that kind of stuff wouldn't happen. I, I wish people were slightly more professional and did not lend themselves to such things online. And again, by giving him, giving Tectone fuel, um, he's going to go off and try to get the two sides of each story. And he's going to expose a lot of people and a lot of things that um, are actually kind of small in the gym grand scheme of things but can be very um heartful heartful for people's images and things like that so it would be better if we just focused on the game and and having fun with it the game is great if you don't agree maybe you should be playing something else so yeah that's my two cents about it <clears throat> i don't want to say who's right or, or who's wrong i can understand both sides and again, there's a lot of mistrust among content creators, even the smaller ones. And again, uh, interacting with other people when you're a social shut-in in a content creator is really tough. So I, I don't want to judge any of them, but I do think it's very regrettable that their, their situation is being exposed like that for both of them. And I don't want to pick sides. And I just wish uh, the Genshin CCs would be more professional and tr treat each other with more respect and friendliness. That's pretty much it. Anyway, um, I'm still playing Power World. I'm addicted, but I should be back to Genshin for the actual event. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.